Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice problem with algebra problem? From here, you can write this as the square root of here 100 can be written as 10 square. Then also we have square there. Then plus also if you want, can write it as 9 square. Then also we have the square here. Then plus here 19 you can write it as. 10 plus 9 then all raised to power 4 here which is being divided by 2 here yeah. then when we apply the law of indices here this power will multiply and this becomes square root of here we have 10 raised to power 4 plus here we have 9 raised to power 4 then plus 10 plus 9 or raised to power 4 then divided by 2 from here the next we have 10 and 9 common here so let the letter represent each so let x be equal to 10 and the y be equal to 9 that is we write this in terms of x and y as square root of this gives us 10 squared as x squared now plus y squared then plus x plus y or raised to power 4 then all divided by 2 from here then we can expand this bracket x plus y raised to power 4 and from pasta triangle when we have power 1 we have 1 1 then power of 2 we have 1 2 1 power of 3 we have 1 3 3 1 power of 4 we have 1 4 3 4 1 as the coefficient then when we expand there as this bracket now this will give us so square root of x square we have x square here then plus y square then plus the fourth power of x as x raised to power 4 the coefficient is 1 then plus 4 as coefficient now then x raised to power 3 now then y then plus 6 as the coefficient, then x square, y square, then plus 4 now as the coefficient, then we have x, then y raised to power 3, then plus y raised to power 3 now, which has coefficient of 1, then all over 2 from here. Then when we look at this, we now have x square as please there is a mistake here. This shouldn't be x square, this is to power 4 please. So we have x is to power 4 here, then x is to power 4. Now this here as well we have x raised to power 4. Now as x raised to power 4. Thank you. Now from here, we now have x raised to power 4 plus x raised to power 4. So we can collect the like terms. And this gives us 2x raised to power 4 plus here we have y raised to power 4. And also here, this is y raised to power 4, please. Then now we have 2y raised to power 4 now. Then plus what we have here. We have 6 x square y square then we have plus 4 x d y then plus here we have 4 x y d then all divided by 2 from here then once we have here we can factor 2 out from there then this give us square root of here we have 2 into bracket x raised to power 4 left here then plus y raised to power 4 plus here we have 3x square y square then plus also here we have 2x dy then plus 2xy then close bracket all now divided by 2 and here 
So here you can cancel out these two. Then what we have left remains square root of x raised to power 4 then plus y raised to power 4 then plus here yeah, let's break this down as 2x square y square then plus x square y square from here is still giving us 3 x square y square then plus what we have here we can factor 2xy out and this here will remain x square plus here will remain y square then close bracket then what we have from here to here we can rewrite it and that will simply be square root of into bracket x square plus y square all square then we have plus here we have x square y square we can bring the square out as x y all square then plus 2 x y then into bracket x square plus y square then close bracket then from here let a be equals to x square plus y square here then b be equals to x y from here then we can replace this as square root of now we have this one is all square here then we have a square now plus b square then plus 2 this is b and this is a that make it 2ab here then which we can write as square root of here we can shorten this as a plus b then all square and square here we cancel square roots and this will give us simply a plus b which here is a that's x square plus y square then plus b which is x y then we can now recall that we represented x as 10 and we represented y as 9 then here give us 10 square plus 9 square now then plus 10 times 9 and 10 square 10 times 10 that's 100 then plus 9 square 9 times 9 that's 51 then plus 10 times 9 here yeah, that's 90 and here when we sum this all this gives us 271 from here so here we have the final answer to this given problem as 271 so from here this simply equals to 271 so thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on also share this video and put your comment if you have another way to solve it. See you next time and bye for now.